In this video, I'll show you how to fix an error occurred while you're starting or using Roblox Studio. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's get straight into this first method. So the first thing I recommend doing is going and just restarting your computer. Often just restarting everything is going to go and fix the problem. So all you need to do is press on the start button in your taskbar and then come over to the right hand side and go and press on the power button and then just go and restart your computer. As I say, it seems quite simple, but honestly, it often goes and fixes the problem. The next thing I recommend doing is going opening up your command or terminal. So all you want to do is go and press on search just like so and type in CMD. And as you can see, your command prompt will pop up. You need to right click on it just like so and click on run as administrator. This will go and give you a Windows QD pop up um, just because we can go and change things. And then what you want to do is type in IP config or one word just like that. And then type in slash flush. DNS just like so, go and hit enter. And as you can see, it's gonna go and successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Um, just because sometimes what can happen is, is that your computer's internet connection can be um, sort of messing up, which causes the error to occur. So it's definitely worth this resetting that. A simple fix, but it's definitely worth trying. If that still doesn't fix your problem, then what I recommend doing is reinstalling Roblox Studio. So to go and do that, all you need to do is firstly open up your Windows settings. So I'm gonna go and click on the start button just like so, and then go and tap on settings. If your settings isn't here, then just go and click on type here to search and type in settings. Then here we are in the settings. You want to come to the left hand side and go and tap on apps and then go and tap on apps and features at the top of this list um, and wait for it to load. Then you need to go to your app list and go and tap on search apps and go and search Roblox Studio, just like so, and here we are. Now what I recommend is clicking on these three dots on the right hand side and tapping uninstall, and then uninstall again, and it should now start uninstalling. I recommend uninstalling Roblox as well, as it makes it easier when we're reinstalling it, which I'll show you how to do as well. So just uninstall both of them, it doesn't take a moment at all. And there it is, Roblox has now been uninstalled, and uninstalling Roblox as well as the Roblox Studio just makes things easier when reinstalling it. Then all you want to do is head over to the Roblox website, here we are. Now you're probably wondering how do you actually reinstall Roblox Studio? It's really easy. It actually automatically installs when we install Roblox, which is why I just went and uninstalled Roblox as well. So all you then need to do is go to a game, press play, and as you can see, it says um, you need a new app because we uninstalled it, but then we get this option to go and download and install Roblox. So tap download and install Roblox, and the player launcher will download. And while we're installing Roblox again, it's gonna automatically install Roblox Studio as well. As you can see, it's now installing Roblox. So wait for this to finish. And then what we need to do is press join, just to make sure it's been fully installed properly. And then I'll show you that Roblox Studio has automatically been installed. Then as you can see, it says Roblox is successfully installed. So press OK, press join, and it now should successfully launch. As you can see, it's now starting Roblox. And now it's launching, which means it's working. So now let's go and close off of it just like so. And we can come and close off the browser as well. And as you can see here is Roblox Studio. It's just gone down there because that was a space, but here it is. So now try running it and see if that's working. If it isn't, then what you need to do is left click on it just like so, then right click on it and wait for this list to appear and go and tap on properties. And once you're in properties, what you want to do is go and tap on compatibility. And I recommend just running a troubleshooter. Hopefully this will go and fix the problem. As you can see, it's gonna go and detect any issues which there may be. And then we can go and either try the recommended settings um, or even troubleshoot the program as well. And just go through this troubleshooter. It's going to explain what to do and how you can go and fix it. And hopefully that's gonna go and fix your Roblox Studio. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.